What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Halloween Collector's Thoughts. I'm your host, Respawn Granted. As always, my co-host, Real Batman. RB, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing great. You're doing great. Let's getting ready to talk about the Rob Zombie, I think, especially the first one, underrated movie. There we go. There we go. And this move, this video should be coming up. I believe it's on either the day before Halloween or on Halloween, because we had already talked about the previous, the newer trilogy, the 2018 one and so on. So mm-hmm. we did that one first since Halloween ends had recently come out. And then we started from the beginning and worked our way up. So this should be the last one on the, the last two, which is yep. uh, the Rob Zombie movies. Now, f- first thing I want to say is, do you, do you think it was meant to be, only two or did they stretch it to two was it supposed to be three what, what, what are your thoughts on this what, what do you think i i don't i never heard anything about it it was supposed to be three i mm. think he rob zombie would have probably wouldn't have mind to keep going but look we all know the second one was clearly not a very good movie okay uh i know we're gonna start in in order but the first one was not a bad movie it was a good movie He did a good job, and in my opinion, to a certain extent, he did a better job explaining of why Michael becomes how he becomes than even John Carpenter did, okay? Different times, 78, 2007, I get it. So, But he does do a better job of explaining how he gets there to that point. But um, he got a lot of hate. So I I think he just pretty much went, F you guys. like Because the second one deserved it. A little bit. I haven't watched it in a while, but it it was definitely a weird freaking movie. Yes. But he got a lot of hate for the first one. I don't know if it's the cast choices. Look, the original guy that played Loomis was, he died years before that. Right. Like a decade before that. Right. So what would you have the guy do? He rebooted franchise. The first one, I think, like I said, he did a great job. I think it was a good movie. The storyline was great. The kills were good. Tyler Maine was a badass Michael Myers. Yep. And I think it's just all the, the, the negative feedback he got from both movies, not just the second one, even the first one. He just pretty much said, flip you guys. Like, seriously, like I'm trying to salvage a franchise that was all over the place. Yeah. And, but and then again, he kind of did himself in with the second one because he was kind of all over the place after that second one. So I don't know. So, so here's the thing. So, we're going to start off with the first one, like you said, and um, the, the it, it can it really confuses me how this movie got the hate it did, because um, this movie was I, I recently watched it and I thought it was a good movie. I think he did a great job explaining. And you know what's interesting, too? This th- this video, I think, is going to be longer than our other ones. I'm going to say that right off the bat, because I have more to say about these than I did with the other ones. because The other ones were more mediocre as opposed to these two. And they're very different for different reasons. One thing I, I have to say, rewatching these movies is I almost feel like Rob Zombie was ahead of his time making this one, the first one, because if you look at movies like the Joker with uh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix, there was a lot of backstory to that, sto- that movie and people love that movie. And there was a ton of character development, ton of, ton of building to get to that Joker. We didn't get that Joker until much later on. So I feel like Rob Zombie kind of did that, where in the beginning, you got a young Michael Myers, and he's showing you what happened to become this way. Now, don't get me wrong. There's certain things that he he put his own spin on. Like, for example, the family was trailer park as opposed to... Right. You know what I'm saying? So there was was certain um, Rob Zombie... Um, what's he, the word I'm looking he, for? he put his own spin on it. Yeah, but like like how Tim Burton likes to put everybody with uh, black under the eyes, like they're not sleeping. He did right. his own thing. Rob Zombie likes using the whole trail apart people. That seems to be his mo for a lot of his his movies and stuff like that. So he did that for Myers. He made it where it was a, a crappy family, it was a stepdad, abusive family. The mom's a stripper. None of that was mentioned in the '78. None of that no. existed. It was a it was a more normal family, so I can understand why that rubbed people the wrong way, but not to a point to give the movie they hate it. It got though, 
Am, am I wrong? Like, just it was just his creative no. opinion, right? Like I, I, no, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm completely in, in agreement. I mean, I, I wouldn't have gone that route that he did to that it extent, could, making right. him like trailer park type trash type stuff. Right. But so, it, but to give it that kind of criticism just because he put that in the story and made the family like that is a little over the top, in my right. opinion. No, I, I 100% agree. It, it, the way I looked at it, it, this was just his creative um, thought about what he figured that family was like, as opposed to the carpenter making it more of a normal family that the kid was just a little out of his mind. So mm -hmm. this kind of gave you that little bit of, of a build, like, okay, he wasn't already raised in a great family. Um, you know, he's kind of, another thing he did really well was he, he, uh, you have him like kind of killing like pets and animals and stuff like that which if you do your homework on a lot of serial killers they do tend to start off that way they do tend to start torturing animals and smaller things so okay. that you know once again showing that build showing that create uh that development then you have like in my opinion a very a very um like in-depth look at this character like you actually kind of feel for this guy for a little bit when he's a kid you kind of feel bad for him he's being picked out in school he's kind of um not like the typical you know like he is the typical kid but he's a little different you can already tell and he like especially when he gets after he kills his sister he kills the stepdad right he tapes him up to the chair slits yep. his throat you know he loses it he pretty much loses it and blacks out pretty much because then when they ask him about it he doesn't remember it um the one thing i liked was when he was in the hospital with uh loomis he's sitting there and you can see him gradually like he starts showing a interest in making masks he's making these masks he's starting to wear the masks you have loomis talking in uh, like uh, um like narrating because he's you know taking information down about this case and slowly Michael is turning in like closing everything up he's becoming one with the mask he feels comfortable wearing masks he can't, he doesn't like to show his face um and I kind of like that because it gives you a more in-depth look at that character not just when he's an adult but when he's a child and going through that because you got to remember he gets he gets put in that mental hospital when he's like I is it nine, 10, something like that, right? He's really young. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, so in the original movie, it just skips. He goes right to him being a man already. Whereas um, in this one, they, he spends a little time kind of showing you, you know, like this is what he went through in that hospital. This is what he dealt with. And um, I kind of liked it. I kind of liked that in-depth look at this character in a way we we've never seen. You know, I mean, this is 25, 30 years after the first movie. We've never seen this much in-depth information on this guy and the mm -hmm. best part about it is rob zombie did it in a way where there was enough action to keep you entertained so you're not bored to death and information and then now we jump ahead to him as an adult right and um and um like you said that actor i uh what's his name tyler tyler mays tyler main yeah. tyler main dude just a house just the yeah. house even just seeing him handcuffed and sitting in that that metal chair just an absolute house um, the long blonde hair or brown hair, whatever. He just scary looking. Oh yeah. And the one thing I didn't, I thought was kind of weird was when um, the, uh, I think he's a janitor or security guard or whatever. The the guys were, he's about to retire. So there's a young guy with him and the young guy's kind of a dick. He's just being yeah. like, you know, just a prick dude. And he's um, <clears throat> he, him and his, and his partner end up like taking advantage of one of the female uh, inmates or yeah. patients in his room, for whatever reason, I mean, let's let's pick on the biggest guy in the freaking room. I don't know why <laughs> you would do that, but they end up doing it right in the in, in in the room, and then one idiot touches the mask, and that's what sets him off. Yep. So he starts taking people out. He I didn't like that he killed the guy that was um the older guy that was gonna retire. I felt bad for him, but in the way I get it, it Myers doesn't have friends, he does not love anybody, does not care for anybody. Um, so up until this point, I'm okay with the whole story. You, you, would you say everything up until now is pretty good? Yeah, yeah, yep. it, it's fine. We got character development. We got him showing up to be Myers. Everything's fine. Um, then he gets out. He's, uh, he, you know, he gets the, he, sh he shows you how he gets the jumpsuit. He tacks that guy in the bathroom. Okay. He gets the jumpsuit. I'm fine with that. Um, 
he ends up getting the mask. That was the only thing that was a little off was because wasn't the boyfriend in the beginning already wearing a, like a mask and he wanted to do the girlfriend with the mask on. So that, that was the part that I was kind of like, how would that Myers mask already exist? You know what I mean? Because he was the first one to have it. So it's kind of like, okay, that's a little whatever, but I guess they just pretend it was just like a regular boogeyman mask. Right. He ends up, he, but he ends up going back to the house. He gets the mask back and it's in the floor. Correct. Yes. Yes. He breaks, he breaks uh, beams or whatever and, and he pulls it out. Yeah. And so that was kind of weird the, the, how the mask already existed before he became the mask, you know, before he made the mask famous. I remember Loomis at the end, Loomis is, is at the house with him and uh, um, Lori, the new Lori. Yeah. And she ends up, they end up like killing him in the pool. That's what ends up happening. He gets shot in the pool three times. So not as dramatic. He gets shot three times and he, you know, falls in the pool. Right. Not, not as much of an impact as the 78. No, I mean, I mean, look, it's not some of the innings that we got with some of the older movies, but I think, again, like listening to you talk and we've talked about this before, not just in this video. Um, I think the storyline was there. Some stuff could have been a little bit better, but look, no movie is going to be perfect. There's always going to be things that we, we're going to critique, yeah. you know, and, and that sometimes even the, the writers and producers themselves look back and be like, could have done that better. Is yeah. it a perfect movie? No. It, did it deserve the hate it got? Hell no. No, I Absolutely agree. freaking absolutely not. In my opinion, I mean, you've, you've watched it more recently than I have. Um, you articulated everything pretty good. I'm in agreement with a lot of it. Certain things could have been better, but I don't think it's deserving of the hate that it got. That's my whole point on this first Rob Zombie movie. Yeah, and, and that's that's what I don't understand because I, I – I, okay, so so like I said, the mask before, okay, you might want to pick on that, fine. The fact that they, he changed up the family, you don't like the fact that it's trailer family, fine, whatever. But none of that is hate-worthy. It's just the way that he did his twist on the story. That way it's not the exact same story again. Um, I mean, there was some cool kills, you know. He ends up, uh, he ends up going to a strip club and kills uh, – Two people there, plus the stripper in there. Those are pretty good kills. Nothing crazy, you know. I mean, that, that was pretty fan worthy. Um, mm-hmm. I I don't know. Do they not like that he the character had long hair in this one? That was another twist. Myers didn't have long hair. Some people didn't like also the cover of the coveralls. They didn't like the casting. There's been so much debate about why people don't like this movie, and I I I kind of embrace it. I like I said. I think they, I don't agree with all the choices, but in terms of explaining why he becomes that way, I think he did a better job than John Carpenter did. He goes more in depth to it, which you've already touched on all that. So, and I don't want to keep repeating the same things over and over again that you've already repeated, but it's true. Um, It's, is it the best Michael Myers movie? No, but I would probably put this movie in the top five, dude. Yeah. All the ones we got, I I would put it in the top five. Listen, I'm going to say this. This freaking movie is way better than ends. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. The, Period. You're not you're not wrong, dude. Um, the 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 one thing, like I said, for me personally, was like I said, the mask thing. I, I touched on that real quick. Uh, the other thing too was um, the overacting with like the teenagers. They kind of overdid it a little bit, acting like you know teenagers. Uh, but other than that, the 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 new Loomis, I I, I had no problems with him. I thought he was a pretty good character i thought they did a good job with him the new laurie i i thought that was pretty cool too and yep. um and like we said i i love the in-depth look at the character turning into the myers that we all know now um but yeah as far as the hate like i purposely watched this movie the sec this recent time with the thought of, okay, what is it that people absolutely hate about this movie? And like I said, the overacting, I could see it. The changing of the family, I could see it. The mask. But it's like, none of this is that crazy, though. It's just the way he interprets the, the movie. Change it up a little bit so it's not exactly like a repeat of the 78, because we already got the 78 one. This is a different version of it. And, I mean... He goes, he tells you more information about the character. There's still plenty of action, still plenty of uh, uh, killing, still plenty of 
you know, th- th- there's nudity. People love nudity, don't they? That that's in the movie. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I don't know, man. I, it, you know, you got some close calls. You know, he kills people, then he almost kills some people. Like, I don't know. The only thing is, too, um, there there was a part in the movie that. I can see why people would complain, but I understand why he did it was when he finally does see Laurie. He has, he he pulls out the picture of him when he was younger, holding the baby. And he's trying to tell her like, like, but he doesn't talk obviously, but he's trying to tell her like, I'm your brother. You you were Laurie. And I I don't, I, I, she's like crying and she's like, I don't know these people. Um, And then she grabs a knife and stabs him in, in the shoulder and at the time, I was kind of like, no, dude, don't do that. But then when you stop and think about it, it's like, this dude just slaughtered a few of your friends. And right. you're, you're sitting with one of your, your friends in a, her body, and she's, like, dying. So, obviously, you're not going to really be very sympathetic to this guy. So, I no, get it. No. I totally get it. So, the scene where he's kind of, like, uh, kneeling down in front of Lori and kind of, uh, you know, trying to get her to understand that it's him. I mean... I get it. I understand. He was trapped in that hospital for, I can't remember if it was 20 years or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he only had that picture. So, and, and, and she's the only one besides the mom that he didn't kill. He, he obviously really liked her and loved her, whatever. And I understand. And you know, what's great too, is that kind of also explains the obsession with her. He wants to find her again, not to kill her though. Right. So I don't know, man. It, it, like I, 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 like I said, I don't see the hate and where it came from. I don't know if maybe Rob Zombie did this movie ahead of its time. Maybe if this movie had been done later on, maybe it wouldn't have gotten the way the hate it got. I don't know. Do I think? mean, it was five years after the last one, which was uh, Resurrection, correct? Yes. So enough time had passed. I think it's. I, it, to me personally, I think it was. Uh, it's not the mask or the coveralls as much because a lot of people actually like that look of Myers. Yeah, I've talked like- to quite a few people that like Rob Zombie's Michael Myers, especially from the first movie. Yeah, as opposed to the people that he picked to play Loomis, Laurie Strode. They don't like the fact that the family is kind of like trailer park trash. They didn't like that. That 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 aspect of it. So it's just, some people just don't like change. And we've talked about this before, like the 2009. And I think that this was just too much change out of the norm based on what we had seen in previous Halloween movies. And they just didn't like it. And if you're just unbiased and you sit back and you actually pay attention to the movie, was it perfect? No. Is it better than some of the ones that came before this one? Hell yes. Like I just said, no baloney. This first Rob Zombie movie, I would probably put it in my top five. It would probably be f- fifth. Yeah, I wouldn't put it ahead of four others that I, you know, but it's a better than some of the other ones that we got. And those didn't get as much hate. So um, I think, like I said, it's a casting thing. I think they didn't like the fact that the family, he made them more like trailer park trash. And I think th- those two things right there was just way too much way too quick and it just wasn't embraced but in terms of the story the movie overall on the whole the ending was a little lackluster we will agree on that and i'm pretty sure a lot of other people will too but to get the hate that it did i don't think it deserves that hate no i I, the second one which we're about to start on yep which you watched that one was it yesterday yesterday yep okay uh so that one definitely deserves a lot of criticism so so here's the thing the um like like you said people don't like change no matter how good the actor does they just it they don't like change so i guess honestly if they go to reboot halloween again and it's not you know laurie strode the way that we know her from uh uh jamie lee curtis they're gonna hate it which is a shame i hate i don't like the fact that it's like that because like I said, I, I think they did fine. I think, you know, they might have been a little overacting and stuff, but I feel like they were directed that way. And the movie's not a bad movie. But like you just said, we're going to jump into the next one. The Rob Zombie uh, Halloween 2. I, they just called it yep. Halloween 2. So, yep, it um, is. Uh, this one, 
the first time I watched it, I did not like it at all. I'm going to say that right off the bat. I watched it, like you said, yesterday, and I liked it more. Still wouldn't hit my top five, but I see what they were going with it. Um, this one, it's it, it's trippy. I guess that's the best way I can explain it because mm. – they they put in the very beginning. Uh, first of all, we have a different young Michael Myers actor. It's not the same kid, or if he is, he looks different. I don't think it's the same kid though. Um, and they have it where the mom gave him like a white horse while he was in the uh, asylum, and she says like every time you see the horse, think of me type of thing. Then we kind of fast forward a little bit, and the mother uh, ends up committing suicide. So she no longer is um, alive, obviously. But yep. Michael Myers starts to see her with the horse as like almost like visions, kind of. So that was already kind of starting to mm-hmm. push the envelope a little bit for me. Uh, but the thing that really, really pushed it and I didn't like it was Loomis's character in this movie. He becomes almost like a because he wrote the book. So he became famous kind of like celebrity, but snobby celebrity. I really didn't like what they did with his character. He um, He's kind of a, a dick. He kind yep. of, you know what I mean? That's the best way to describe it, yeah. Yeah, very self-centered, like, oh, my book did good, and now I'm rich, and I didn't, I, I did not like what they did with his character. So yeah. that, I'll have to say, was a big flaw. You took that lovable character from not just the 78, you know, Halloween one and two, but even your own first movie, he was a very right. lovable uh, doctor trying to solve this issue. And in this one, he's a rich dick. <laughs> so, yeah. Best way to explain it that I can think It of. is, it is legit. Yeah. So I, I did not like his character at all in this movie. And that has to be the first time that I have to say that I did not like Loomis's character. I've liked his character in every single Halloween movie. Yeah. You know? So Rob Zombie, in my opinion, missed the mark with that character. I understand what he was trying to do, but he missed the mark. Um, I think he should have remained more humble and more, you know, the doctor trying to live his life, but still kind of be obsessed with Myers and trying to help solve that whole issue um another change he does is with laurie she turns into like a hippie kind of i don't know if that's the right term but kind of you know so that was a little weird Uh, um i didn't really see why that happened i I wasn't fully sure where the that what came into place i can can i throw you know how much i love my conspiracy theories right yeah yeah he got a lot because the first one I believe was in 07, and then this one came out in 09, which was two years later. Okay. So he had plenty of time to put a better product on the screen for his second film. Mm-hmm. Um, here's my conspiracy theory. People pissed him off with all the bashing of his first one. They yeah. said, Oh, you that's garbage. Here's freaking garbage. Yeah. This is garbage. Yeah. That's uh, what I think he did here because. He, he had something, he really had something going with the first one. Yeah. How it went from that to this hot mess, the same guy. I, m- me personally, I, I'm, I'm going to end, I'm, I, I don't have much to say about this one, but I know you still have more, but yeah. I'm going to put this out there right now. People pissed him off. He said, I put my heart and soul into that movie. Yes, I went, I did things a little bit different, but I don't think this movie deserved that kind of criticism. You want a hot mess? I'm going to give you a fucking hot mess. Here's a fucking hot mess. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's my opinion. I think that's what he did. I think he did this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. I think he did this intentionally just to piss people off. He said, you think that's bad? I'm going to give you a fucking bad movie. Because yeah. this is not the first movie Rob Zombie's directed. These no. movies. No, yeah. He's done, he's done quite a few of them. And they're good movies. Yeah. So. They are. I, I Me personally, how you go from that first one to this one in just two years i think it was done intentional just to alienate people no no i wonder i wonder if he originally was supposed to do two i almost feel like he they they kind of gave him like a let's do one and see type of thing and then when the second one came around maybe 
like because obviously the first one made some decent money because they made a sequel. So you're you're probably right, dude. He probably was like, you know what, just give me the check and I'll just freaking phone it in. I don't give a crap. Um, yeah, because in in two years, how the hell does he drop? Like I can see, like when you go five or six years, you got different people now writing or producing the movie. Yeah, same guys, like pretty much really across the board, and it's just two years, which is enough time to. Make a good movie, really, two years, right? right? right. How did the? I mean, dude, from his first one to the second one, it's a big drop off, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a big drop off. And they, me personally, it's a conspiracy theory, and and I'm almost not to try to toot my own horn because usually my conspiracy, conspiracy theories prove to be pretty accurate. Right. I think he did this to piss people off. That's bad. I'm going to give you bad. Yeah, and, and you know what? You you very well could be right. The um, because this was a different direction with him. Like I said, right off the bat, they they kind of start with that white horse and the and the and the mom. Um, then they had the young actor, the young Michael Myers actor. Uh, he was in a lot of scenes with the older actor, and he was like his voice, kind of. You know, he would like talk for uh for him, and I was like this is kind of weird. I, I mean, I kind of see what he's doing. Then you had Lori getting these nightmares, but she was also getting the nightmares of the horse and the what and the mom and stuff. And I'm like, this is really, really weird. And at the end, at the, I know I'm jumping to the, end, you know, kind of all over the place, but that's kind of how this movie felt. Yeah. And, real. Yeah. yeah. At the end, I like what he did where he made it, where Lori comes out of the house that or the shed the barn whatever the hell it was and michael is dead because he's he was up up against the uh like he had like a hook or something through him some kind of sharp object pierced his body he's dead she has his mask she comes out with his mask on she falls down takes the mask off then they put her into a, a um a mental hospital and she sees the mom and the horse and she smiles. So it's almost like she kind of um, obtained his evil, if you will. So I kind of feel like Halloween ends when they did the, the evil going from Myers to uh, uh, Corey. They did that. Rob Zombie had already kind of done something like that where it went into Laurie instead. Right. And Myers was actually dead. So that was kind of to pass the torch right there. And I understand it, but it was just a very psychological, very psychedelic. Like I feel I, whatever drugs was was happening during this, <laughs> it was just a completely different road. And um, I'm telling you, dude, I don't know. He's directed a lot of movies and done a good job. That first one was good. I'm going to just keep saying it. And, and this is my take on this. And I've been saying it for years and I'm going to say it here. I think he did it intentionally. Yeah. He got so much negativity on the first one where you could see that he put a lot into that movie, just like he does some of the other ones. And he and he got so much negative feedback. He's like, you want trash? I'm going to get paid and I'm going to give you trash, even though I'm going to get paid. I'm going to give you real freaking trash. Yeah. And I think that's that's what happened here. He just didn't give a flip. He just, yeah. just yeah. whatever. It's all because it doesn't. The first one that he did was nowhere near this bad. It was no, it was not all over the place like this. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I just don't believe in coincidence. I think he did it because they, people pissed him off with the criticism. So. Yeah. And, and, and the thing, the thing is too, it's like with this movie, the only thing that's really memorable to me is like I said, the white horse with the, with the, the mom in white. Cause it keeps happening throughout the whole movie. And I just keep, remembering how like out of left field this was yeah um the ending where he's finally dead and she comes out and she's wearing the mask so it's like you you he dies you put on the mask just to step out and take it off really weird um it's all just, over the place weird decisions Story yeah. all over the place. It's just a hot mess. It yeah. really is a hot mess. L- L- Loomis's character sucked balls. Like, I did not like that character at all in this one. He dies in this one. Yep. Um, 
I don't know, just so weird. Nothing really <laughs> memorable in a good way. You know what I mean? Like, no, like not not even any of the kills or anything like that. Like usually in these Halloween movies, there's something that I could say, uh, uh you know, th- that's memorable because of this, or that's memorable because of this. This second Halloween one from Rob Zombie was memorable, but in the wrong reasons for me. Yep. There was a lot of like, what the hell were they on? Where was this supposed to go? Like, it's just it's just it's weird. Fun. Think about what I've said. I'm not going to repeat it again. Yeah. But think about my conspiracy theory. It just in only two years, which is enough time to make a good movie, you know. And man, like it's opposite ends of the spectrum here, dude. From the yeah. first one to this one, I don't think it was an accident. I don't think it was poor. Ex- I think it was done intentionally. Yeah. Like, you want trash? I'm going to give you fucking trash, and yeah. I'm going to get paid. But but you know what the one good thing is there there is a scene where Loomis goes onto a talk show with Chris Hardwick and Weird Al Yankovic that was pretty good <laughs> that was entertaining I enjoyed that scene pretty much um, probably but, the highlight of that there's your highlight of the movie <laughs> I know <laughs> Sir, yeah I know seriously um, I, I mean I'm sure there's all this and like I said I've watched all of these movies in the course of like five days so they start to blend in. But it goes to show you when you watch these movies like that, right? Like the way I just did it, I watched whatever, 12 movies in like five days, six days, whatever the hell it was. And certain ones stood out. So that to me tells me that they stood out because obviously I cared more about them and I enjoyed them more. The first Halloween one from Rob Zombie stood out for all the right reasons. The second one did not. It did not pan. It did not. I did not see that 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 twist coming, and I felt like it was a lot of, um, or maybe not a lot of, but there was scenes that it was kind of like, oh, this is going to look cool, so let's just put it in there. It's like okay, they just it was a mishmash of crap. Yeah, but, and I don't think it's I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't. Yeah, and 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 but but you know what's sad too is a lot of the times they do things or I'm sorry, Rob Zombie, he did things in his first film to kind of pay, uh, I believe the word is homage to uh, the, the 78 movie. Yes. And to kind of like not, give a little nod to it, which was cool if you could pick it up. And yep. then in the second one, he did it too. In the beginning of the second one, there's a scene where Lori is in the hospital and she um, she like gets out of the, uh, she gets out of the um, her room. She goes to see her friend. And then Michael Myers is going through the hospital. He kills the nurse. He kills like another nurse. Like that was really cool. Like he was kind of like when you're watching this, you're like, oh man, this is like the the second movie back in the day because yep. it's in the hospital and everything. But then she wakes up. So you're like, oh well, none of that happened. It was just a, a nightmare she had. <laughs> so it was kind of cool because he he gave a nod to the second movie. But what you said, like I, it just dawned on me. What you said makes a lot of sense because it's almost like. He was giving us that taste of the nostalgia from the second movie back in the day. And then she wakes up as it's a nightmare, almost like Rob Zombie saying like, no, 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 I'm not going to be doing that throughout the whole movie for you guys. You guys gave me crap in the first movie. So now in the second one, you just get a little taste and then the rest is going to be hell from here. Mm-hmm. Because that, that was the only scene that, that I could think of that gave a nod to the classic. And it was actually really entertaining. It was really good. That, that, that hospital thing. But it was it was a nightmare. It doesn't even it doesn't even really count. So the real nightmare started when she woke up. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Right, exactly, exactly, exactly. So you know what, dude? Uh wh- since this was the end, this was the end of the Halloween thing. Why don't we just do for the hell of it a quick little fun thing? Um wh- what would be your personal top uh let's do top five favorite Halloweens? It doesn't have to be in particular order, but what's your personal five favorite movies that you've uh, seen from this series. I'm not going to put them in any particular order, but no, it's no order. Not right now. I, I would have to think a little bit better because you kind of put me on the spot here. Yeah. It yes, would be the 70, it would be the 78, 81. Yeah. 2018 kills and the first Rob Zombie. First That's Rob my Rob. top five. Yeah. I, um, I, I think I'd have to agree with you because no, I, I mean, I would have to think about what the order would be. Right. Yeah. Those are the, those are the five. I don't know what order they would be in yet, but that's that's to be, and all the other ones would be at, would follow. I think, I think four and five would probably be, probably next in line. Mm-hmm. Um, Halloween ends is right there with the second Rob Zombie, maybe even worse than that because 
I, I, I can see why Rob Zombie did it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I can see it. He got a lot of negativity. He got a lot of shit for it. I don't understand why they did that with ends. It I made know. no sense. Start oh. to finish. None of it made sense. So that in, in turn might actually make it worse than Rob Zombie's movie for that reason alone. I think Rob Zombie did the second one. He did people dirty like they did him. So right. that's what it is. Well, for, for me, like I said, the top five that you said, I, I, I have to agree. I think it's those five as well. The bottom, I think the worst one out of the whole set is Halloween three. That movie just, I don't I, count that, <laughs> <laughs> but you have to, it's part of the franchise, dude. So Halloween three. I want to forget about it, and you don't. You, you just want to. Eh, 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 eh. Like, I don't want to hear about that. Halloween three is the worst one, and then from there, I would have to say it would probably be, um, probably six. Then it would be ends and Rob Zombie two, and then the other ones are all in the middle somewhere. I hate. I don't really like Halloween six, but I would still take Halloween six over ends. Seriously, yeah, but I am, maybe maybe it's because it's still too fresh and I'm still too pissed off about it. Yeah, yeah, but probably. Right now, right yeah. now, Halloween ends is freaking trash. Yeah, freaking trash. See, the, because the, it, it, like we talked about before, it's it's not a bad movie, right. but it's supposed to be Michael Myers versus Laurie Strode. You're getting me worked up. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up. It's getting late. I got a bad migraine, and look. And this just made it, it was worse. supposed to be an epic battle. You yeah. made it an epic piece of crap. Yeah. Is what you did. And so for that reason alone, like right now, as much as Halloween 6 sucked, mm-hmm. I still think N sucked even more because A, there was so much hype on that movie. Right, right. Michael Myers was in it for like freaking five minutes. He was, he was, dude, he was beat up like he was freaking Pee Wee Herman. Right, like, right. come on, dude. Like, seriously, no. Oh man, no. Yeah, don't it's get the, me going. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, but all, all, all in all, though, all in all, w- w- would you say at least the new trilogy, though, as a whole, is the best trilogy or the best set? Like, like, let's say I've never seen Halloween before. Okay, I'm brand new to the franchise. I've never seen any of them. If you were to recommend a set of movies for me to get into what is your recommendations. Okay. It has to make sense for me. So you can't be like one, four, you know what I'm saying? Cause no. those don't make sense. They don't no, connect. I want to be something that connects. Believe it or not. I mean, because Halloween three was so freaking bad season of the witch and Michael Myers is not in it. Mm-hmm. Um, because Halloween 78 and 81 are, are, are freaking classics, dude. Yeah. Dude, if, if, if Michael Myers, I, I guess I would say yes, because the, the 2018 was a really good movie. Mm-hmm. Kills, the Myers scenes in Kills is going to go down, at least based on all the movies we've gotten to this point. Yeah. Halloween kills the Meyer scenes, not the cheesy acting outside of that. Right. The Meyer scenes are the best to date. He's, I've never seen his character more badass mm-hmm. than that. So for those two first movies alone, I would recommend the trilogy. And I would recommend that you drink heavily before you watch ends. And that way you fall asleep through most of the movie. <laughs> And then you wake up at the end when they're actually somewhat battling at the end. So. Right, right. See, here's the, here's the thing. I'm going to throw something at you and see what you think. What do you think about uh, the first one, the 78, the second one, and then H2O? Because only because the fact that all three have Lori, and then at the end of H2O, you don't know that it's uh, um, uh, a paramedic. You think it's actually Michael Myers. I'm, I'm still going to take the latest one. Sim- well, H2O, in my opinion, is better than ends. No question. Right. Okay. The twist there at the end, no question is better than ends. But because 2018 and Kills, the Meyer scenes were so badass. Yeah. Those two movies right there really elevate and kind of make up somewhat for the catastrophe, the which was, was ends. Gotcha. 
Gotcha. Yeah, I, I think I think you can't go wrong with the, the three that you just said, but I still think 78, well, Halloween 2, and then H2O to complete the Laurie Strode and Myers series. That's not a bad trilogy either. Yeah, I think that could work out pretty well because if you remember, at the end of H2O, she takes Myers' head off and then it ends. So we don't know anything about it being, oh, it's a, it was actually a switcheroo or no. So you would watch that movie and be like, oh, okay, that's how it all ended. It was the first two back in like the late 70s, early 80s. Then it goes, you know, whatever, 20 years later and they meet up one more time. She actually stands up to him and kills him. And I can so see. She thinks. What'd you say? So she thinks. Right. Yes. Right. But right. if they never made any of the other ones, that would work, you know? It's it, it was a toss up. Look, there's no wrong answer here. It's a matter of opinion. But of I, course I, there is. What if I, I said think... three, four, and five? Oh God, please. Uh <laughs> no, don't go there. Uh, Start but, off with I, number I, three. <laughs> everything. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's so bad that I don't. I I refuse to count it. I, yeah. Like I want to forget it exists. <laughs> but there's no wrong answer here. Seriously, uh, it's matter of opinion. Yeah. Uh, but factually. Halloween end sucks donkey dick. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm going to leave it with that. Yeah. So, and, and, and it's funny that you're going to leave it with that because that's how we started this whole set. We started <laughs> off with Halloween 2018 kills and ends went to the beginning, worked our way all the way through. This was just a quick overview of uh, the movies and we kind of did them pairs by two. Um, and just kind of wanted to just share with you guys our thoughts on these. Obviously, you know, we're not we're not diving into every single scene. We're not dissecting every single thing. There are other people on YouTube that do that stuff and their videos are much longer. So go watch that if you want to. This is just two guys talking about the series and giving their own personal opinion on it and just how we feel. And um, we'd love to hear what you guys think. Yes. Put, put yes. it down in the comments. Let us know if, if there's a certain set that you like more or certain Myers you like more. Whatever. Let us know. That'd be great. And and if you're because there, there is some people that did like ends. If you liked ends, we want to hear from you guys. Put it in the comment section below. Let me know why you like ends because I can't figure that one out. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, if you guys are interested in this type of stuff, let us know what you want us to talk about next. Do you want us to talk about Freddy next? Do you want us to talk about Jason next? Chucky, um, Spider-Man, whatever. Just let us know. We love movies. We love doing this. This is a lot of fun. And we love sharing with you guys. So let us know what you guys think. What, what, what do you want us? What's the next, next topic you want us to talk about? So yeah, agreed. Couldn't have said it better myself. So awesome. yeah, we want to hear from you guys. On the Myers movies, what you, if there's anything, any, any other movies that you like to, or characters you like to see us cover, we'll be glad to do it because at the end of the day, we're just having fun and yep. we're sharing with you guys and just keep, you know, we, be honest, but be respectful at the same time because um, at the end of the day, it's just opinions. It's not factual. So there you go. Exactly. So until next time, guys, have a happy Halloween because this should be coming out around that time. So have a happy, safe Halloween. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys. Peace.